it is hypersonic in nature so that that enemy uh, radars cannot detect this missile its range is about 1500 kilometers it can carry different payloads and then uh, defeat the warheads in the ships deployed in the ocean we could be able to destroy all class of uh, warships using this particular missile system uh, it has got capability to fly very low in atmosphere so that uh, our enemy's radars will not be able to detect until we reach the uh, terminal phase Long range anti ship missile, LR system is a hypersonic light missile. So, this missile is being developed by DRDO for Indian Navy requirements. Uh, its basic uh, uh, advantages are it is uh, hypersonic in nature, so that, that enemy uh, radars cannot detect this missile uh, from their enemy radars. Its range is about 1500 kilometers. It can carry different payloads and then uh, defeat the warheads in the ships deployed in the ocean this thing uh, the beauty of this missile is that it's a high, uh, hypersonic uh, speed it will travel and then its aerodynamic efficiency is very high because of that we can able to glide very long distances how you see this going to enhance india de deterrence posture in indo pacific region especially uh, as i said this is uh, specially designed for anti ship role uh, this thing eh? with this missile we can reach targets at 1500 kilometers uh, in very small amount of time, maybe around 15 minutes, we should be able to reach. And then we could be able to destroy all class of uh, warships using this particular missile system. That way, the India's capability with this uh, missile uh, in the Indian Ocean waters will be very high, this thing. And then uh, it has got capability to fly very low in atmosphere so that uh, our enemy's radars will not be able to detect until we reach the uh, terminal phase. In the technological phase, uh where we are currently standing, what is going to enhance the India's capabilities? See, in uh, future of missiles is hypersonic missiles. Uh, DRDO is currently working on uh, two technologies. One is uh, hypersonic glide missile technology and then hypersonic cruise missile technology. So my lab, Advanced System Laboratory, is involved with uh, hypersonic glide vehicle technology. With this uh, successful fight trial of LRHHM, we have got uh, uh, glide missile uh, capable of uh, reaching around 1500 kilometers. This may bounce our technologies, like hai, waise India kafi advanced progress kiya hai, like hypersonic uh, materials to reach about 1500 kilometers, and then control strategies, trajectory designs, and then uh, launch philosophy. All those things have been uh, proven, and then India has got very good capability to enhance these ranges to the larger range, let's say about 3000, 3500 kilometers.